Layers determine the order in which objects are displayed. Furthermore, only the currently active or selected layer can be edited. The following steps introduce the basics of working with layers, such as naming, moving, creating, and deleting a layer. To follow along, download and open data file practicing with layers.psd. The first thing we're going to do is rename a layer. But before we even do that, we have to figure out what object is on what layer. Go ahead and click on the visibility icon on layer 3. You'll notice that the post office will disappear. Re-click on the visibility icon to make it reappear. Now that we know that layer 3 holds the image of the post office, let's rename it by double-clicking on layer 3's title and retyping post office in the activated text field. Now let's see what's on layer 4 by clicking on the visibility icon. Since the person is disappearing as we click on the visibility icon, that's the image that's on layer 4. Let's rename layer 4 by again double-clicking on layer 4's title and retyping person. Let's go ahead and click on the visibility icon on layer 1. You'll notice that nothing is changing, and that's because layer 1 is below all other layers, and whatever object is on the layer is hidden by all the layers above it. So what we want to do is click on and drag layer 1 above the background layer until you see a dark line. When you see that dark line, drop it in by letting the mouse go. Now click on the visibility icon again. You'll see grass appear on the canvas. Let's go ahead and rename this layer grass. We don't want the grass growing out of the sun, so let's move it to the ground by first selecting the Move tool from the Tools panel. Afterwards, return to the canvas and click and drag on the grass to where you'd like it to go. Let's move the post office next. First, we have to select the post office layer. Then on the canvas, click and drag on the post office image to the ground. Let's repeat the same thing with the person layer, but remember that you have to select the layer that you want to edit, so go ahead and select the person layer first. Then click on the image of the person on the canvas, and drag it to ground level. Now when you select the door layer and try to drag it in front of the post office, you'll notice that it keeps going behind it. Again, the reason for that is because the door layer is below the post office layer and is therefore hidden. So let's go ahead and select the door layer and drag it above the post office layer. Now let's move on to duplicating a layer. If we wanted to give our person a friend, let's say, then we want to duplicate the person layer. To do that, let's first right click on the person layer and select duplicate layer. You could rename this layer as you wish, but if not, go ahead and just select the OK button. At first, you don't see the duplicate of the person, but that's because the duplicated person is right on top of the original person layer. And so in order to move the new layer, go ahead and make sure that the Move tool is selected, and then on the canvas, click and drag the new person to a designated area. Now, if you change your mind and decide to delete the new layer, all you have to do is again right click on that new layer and this time select Delete Layer. Then select the Yes button. 